here, just sitting here on my porch, drinking coffee with all of you, using my new tripod. And today is a very, very special day. It is Mother's Day. So the first part of this video is going to be dedicated to my mom. Mom, I love you. It must have been really hard being the mother of a weird kid like me. And believe me, I know. I'm weird. I'm wired differently. And I may not have acted the same or you know, needed to be treated the same as my other siblings because, well, like I said, I'm wired a little bit differently, you know? I was always the melancholy kid, but there's some things I remember about you, so I'm going to share some of them right now. The three girls came first. I'm all the way on the left. Aren't we cute? My mom is an accomplished seamstress, and she would just sew the most amazing matching outfits for all of us and it was so cool going out in public and we all were dressed alike a lot of times people thought we were triplets and here's the whole family gathered together dad's taking the photo mom would sew us all matching shirts and then we'd all wear the matching color pants and we would just be walking all together in the crowds and we would always be able to find each other because we were always wearing the same thing so that was actually a good safety strategy too i'm all the way on the right standing right next to my mom oh my goodness this was so so long ago and look at my brother crossing his arms oh my goodness even to this day, she still sews. And look at that beautiful quilt. She just finished this a few days ago. And it's going to be going as a gift for someone. And I'm, I can't say who because they may be watching. But this is going to be a very special gift when she comes to visit um, next month, I think it is. So they'll be. I'll be looking forward to her coming down. But look at the detail in that quilt. Can you believe it, you guys? And as many of you already know, she made it possible for me to get the tiny house that I'm currently living in. And I don't know who's more excited about filling my tiny house with awesome furniture, but she found this piece. I don't know if it was at a thrift store or at a craft store or antique store, but she found it and wanted to know if I could use it. So dad took a picture of it and there she is modeling next to it. And absolutely I could use it. And this is the thing that I was talking about that my mom's bringing down that matches that wicker divider. So yeah, she just loves picking stuff out for me and she gets really excited about it too. Here's another thing that she's had in her house that she's wanting to bring down as well for the tiny house and she's kind of demonstrating how it works and whatnot. It's just a little table, uh, a little cart that turns into a table with fold down leaves on either side. And here's another view of it. She is so proud that she's going to be able to bring this down to me and it's going to be able to fit into my tiny house and it's going to be very, very useful. I can't wait to get it here. It's going to be where I'm going to eat and maybe prepare food. So thank you, Mom. You are so amazing. But one of the main things I remember about Mom is that she is a really, really great cook. This is her award-winning, I don't know if it's... Dutch apple pie, French apple pie. It's the kind of apple pie that is has the crumbly stuff on the top and then she puts the little drizzle frosting on the top of it. This is an amazing recipe. I may have to try and make it for you guys sometime, but this lady could cook just about anything. My mom's done a lot of amazing things, but there's one memory that I have that I've never been able to forget and I never will forget. It's back when, before I had my son, and I was in Georgia, all the way in Georgia, and the rest of the family and everybody were scattered all over the United States. So what she did is she organized a long distance baby shower for me. She came down and had tons and tons of gifts from people all over the place. And um, I went to work that day, and during that day, she she had, and she didn't tell me. She didn't tell me. I had no idea any of this was happening. But what she did is while I was at work during the day, she was conspiring with my coworkers. And so they were all, you know, getting together their different things that they were going to bring and different food items. And she cooked all day and she got the apartment I was living in all decorated, all pretty. And I'm going to start crying because this was such a good memory. I came home and then people were calling and um, you know 
over the phone and wishing me well and whatnot. And I got to open presents and eat all that beautiful food. So, well, that was that was amazing. Thank you so much. I love you so much. So, let me let me you know. I've gotten a hold of myself now, guys. So happy Mother's Day, Mom. You're the greatest, and you've been a huge support for me lately. And I can't tell you how much I love you, and I thank you for everything you've done for me. So I hope you spend this day doing something truly, truly wonderful. And for all of you other mothers out there, happy Mother's Day to you as well. I hope you're doing something great, something that you really love. And, well, I hope that the rest of this video will bring you some joy, too. The temperatures dropped last night down to, like, 36 degrees. So, last night, it was before 5 p.m., before the sun went down, I covered up all my plants. Um, I used what I had. I know a lot of you are going to see plastic, and you're going to go, oh, my gosh, she used plastic. Well, hopefully they saved my plants. So let's go take a look. And please do excuse me while I get used to using a tripod because I've never used a tripod before. So hopefully this is the right way to do it. Anyhow, let's take a look over here. I can tell it's kept the heat in because there's plenty of condensation on this plastic. Yep, they look like they're okay. Yep, yep, yep. And I'm going to just keep this back in my gear because it's going to get cold again, very cold again, uh, tonight. So this is all going to be covered up again. And these right here, honestly, I've been unstacking them because there are parts of these plants that are not getting any sun at all. They don't like that. They don't like it at all. So gonna let them oh yeah yeah everything's doing fine all of that is fine let's see about this one. yep let's just double check yeah these are all fine and this is tomatoes and basil and those got decimated the last time here oh and I'll give you a closer Look at the Japanese eggplant. There is absolutely no signs of frost, so this worked. That is wonderful. Oh my goodness. What is this? I got me some spider action going on. Should I be scared? <laughs> I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> okay. Let's keep all of these together now. Peppers are fine. Yep, banana peppers are fine. Yep, red cuminelles, they look better than ever. Oh yeah, the carrots are looking just fine. So this all worked out great. Even though I know you're not supposed to use plastic, it worked fine. Alrighty, let's go look at the bigger bed. I know somebody's going to have something to say about me using those tarps, but you know what? You use what you have. So, let's see if everything survives. Please let everything have survived. Please, please, please. Okay, let's do this one first. Yep, it worked. It was just fine. See that? Not a single sign of damage. And this got down, this got down really, really cold. I mean, it was 36 degrees. The other day when I was uh, filming and those cucumbers looked like they were like dead, I think it only got down to like 40 degrees and that even damaged them. So, Yep, everything looks fine in this bed. Yay! Oh, yeah.
You know what? I actually think that these grew overnight. Maybe, am I even in the shot? Hi. <laughs> these grew. So I'm going to give you some close-ups of these now. Look at that lettuce. It grew overnight. So yeah, now I know why people really, really love to get greenhouses because they work like crazy. What in, what? What the, what the what? That's spinach. <laughs> what is spinach doing all the way over here? You're supposed to be, oh look at, finally the spinach is growing. Oh my goodness. I got me a baby spinach plant over here. I think it's baby spinach. It looks like this spinach over here. So this really, really surprises me that these actually grew last night when the temperature got so low because I covered it in plastic. Awesome. Yep, and look at all of these. These look beautiful, don't they? Just look at them. Look at the carrots. Look at, oops. I can hardly see anything. I'm getting like little, they're starting to grow, you can't see. Uh, they're starting to get their secondary leaves here. See that one? That one is getting its little extra leaves. These just came up last night. So, okay, now I need to go down to the big beds by the street. Oh, I did want to show you this Japanese eggplant. Look at it. Look at how beautiful it looks. And I just put the two down in there. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. I'll be sure to feed them plenty. But they made it just fine. And so that's awesome. Now let's go take a look at these. Look. Look what I did. <laughs> Alrighty. This is the watermelon. Yay! Another yay! Look. I used my machete last night and I just hacked this in half, put it over the top, whoops, and it worked. Yeah. Yep. Sprinkles can. Right on. Red solo cup. And just some cups that I found from around my trash heap. These, everything actually grew last night. I cannot freaking believe it. It's like doing this, even when it's freezing cold outside, makes them grow more. Oh yeah. That's good. That. Oops. Just fine. Yup. And yup. That's awesome. Absolutely no damage. In fact, they look better than they ever have. Alright. I kind of had to half and half this bed because I didn't have enough little coverings to cover everything. So, yep, everything looks great. Look at that. They all look great. Absolutely no damage. Zero damage at all. So, yeah, that worked. The Brussels sprouts were great. Everything, the watermelon, the last time this watermelon wilted when it just got down to like 40 and I hope the wind is not, whatever. All right, so that worked great. I am really, really happy, you guys. These plants are just doing really well. The Brussels sprout in this bed seems to be doing better. And you know what? These Brussels sprouts, I covered with little cups and their growth kind of shot up a little bit. These weren't harmed, but they didn't have the growth spurt like the other ones did overnight. So yeah, you know what? One of these days I'm gonna get me a greenhouse. You had better believe it. These are the uh, spaghetti squash. Definitely going to have to, tr you know, thin them out. That's the word I was looking for. So everything worked out great. I don't have to worry that all these plants are going to die. We've got one more cold night 
tonight and I'll be covering them up again and then hopefully tomorrow I will be able to do some planting in the two beds that I haven't planted anything in. This video has gotten long enough so again happy Mother's Day mom and to all the other moms out there and you all have a really really beautiful day. That's all I got for you. See you in the next video with my tripod. FedEx just came and dropped this off. It's very heavy and I know what this is. If you read this label right here, it says this product has a protective coating that must be cured before use. Do not use product until properly cured. See stove manual for more details. I don't believe it. Just don't believe it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.